I know what you're thinking. Tubzen, another League video? I thought you hated League of Legends. I do, but it's an addiction, so I can't stop. In my last video, I showed you how to play Tank Thrush Top, which at the time was an unbeatable strategy, but that video was posted four months ago. From then until now, I've spent all my time trying to figure out what the best strategy to win every single game is. And I'm happy to say, I finally found it. But Tubson, that's just regular fizz. Nuh-uh. Think again, idiot. Look at my items. Yep, you guessed it. This is a guide on how to play crit fizz. Is crit really the best thing to build on Fizz? Yes, and if you want, I can spend 20 minutes explaining why, or I can just give you the runes and items that you should build. Okay, so here's the runes you wanna take. For starters, uh, we're taking precision here and press the attack because it's probably the best keystone for an AD build like this now. Uh, triumph, Legend Alacrity, and cut down kind of all makes sense. You're not going to have a ton of health, uh, so you should have less than whoever you're trying to kill most of the time. Uh, Alacrity is going to give you bonus attack speed, which is going to help you kill people faster too. For secondary, we're taking domination. Sudden impact because you have multiple abilities that can proc it and treasure hunter for extra money and then pretty mindless attack speed adaptive force and health now for items there's a couple things to keep in mind i don't think essence reaver really is needed in this build because uh in all my time playing you didn't really run out of mana so while i don't think it's a bad first item pick i think something better you could go with would be kraken slayer followed by collector followed by infinity edge etc etc the game will be over by then because you'll just win with all that out of the way, allow me to enlighten you with a couple tips on how to make this build work. The first important key concept I need to teach you is that you're playing an ADC and you need to auto attack people. That's really all there is to it. I mean, look at this Nefiri. She tries to kill me, so I just auto attack her until she dies. The trick is that people will just constantly underestimate your ability to just walk at them and auto attack them to death. And then BAM! Free kill! Now this confusion happens because most people that have ever played against Fizz know that after he uses his abilities he has no more damage to put out. But Crit Fizz is different because most of your damage comes from your AD scaling on your Q and your auto attacks. So in the early game when no one has enough damage to one shot you yet, you just kill them. Another important thing for you to know is how exactly you should be team fighting on Crit Fizz. You may or may not have noticed that we traded all of Fizz's AoE damage for one-on-one -on -one skirmishing power. What this means for teamfights is that while normally you would play Fizz like an assassin and try to take out all the squishy people on their team, now you do the exact same thing but with crit. So yeah, really not that much changes about his team fighting. It's really landing phase that has the biggest difference. I bet you're wondering what's even the point then in building crit over AP. There is none. Can't you see this is the natural progression of things? First, I made a video about an ADC building lethality items and playing like an assassin. Then I took an engaged support, built tank items on him and played him top lane. Can't you see? This is all part of my master plan. Something was missing though, and I couldn't figure it out. Building full AP or AD on hybrid scaling champions? No. Building tank on champions with infinite scaling that don't need to build damage? Not that either. And then, one day it came to me in a dream, whispering in my ear, Build crit on crit. And I knew what I had to do. I mean, it was really the only thing left for me to do. The only thing that it made sense for me to do. 
Let me show you what Crit Fizz can do. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. This video gets 1 zillion views and 300 bajillion million likes. I will make another League video. Apologies for how long this video took me to finish. I've been pretty busy, but I've also spent way too long editing this, not making a lot of progress on it. So after two years, I finally experienced my first burnout. But I'm going to be honest, I'm feeling pretty good now that I finish this and uh, should be getting some more videos coming soon. Also before the video ends, go check out my Twitch. I stream every Monday, Thursday, and, and Wednesday. That's a really weird way to say all three of them.